Hello, I'm Father Rick Bauer, a Mary Knoll priest, and I've been with Mary Knoll for about 20 years. All of my mission experience has been in Africa, first in Tanzania, later in Namibia, and currently in, in Kenya. My mission has always been um, specifically with people with HIV and trying to provide the care, the support, and now the treatment that they need to be reintegrated in the community and live healthy lives individually, as well as try to turn the tide on new HIV infections. So yesterday we visited EDARP, the Eastlands Deanery AIDS Relief Program in the eastern slums of Nairobi. Originally it began in 92 and at that time there was no medicine, there was no treatment and it was really accompanying people as they got what was really a diagnosis of death um, and supporting them in the last days of their lives. But HIV treatment is more than just the medicine. It's a complicated treatment. And so we started with looking at the laboratory that EDARP uses that allows us to, first of all, diagnose the presence of HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus in an individual. And then once they're diagnosed, to put them on treatment and monitor the progress of that treatment. And we do that through just normal blood chemistries to make sure that there's no adverse reactions to these very powerful medicines and that we can monitor the effectiveness. Our goal is to get that viral load, the amount of HIV in an individual, down to undetectable amounts. And so when someone is first on treatment, we're doing viral loads, and then we can just go to every six months, every 12 months, to monitor that individual's progress. Once people are on treatment, once they have viral load suppression, their life expectancy is the exact same of someone that's actually HIV negative. We then visited one of the 14 centers that EDARP runs in this slum area, and we saw the, a clinic called Matare in one of probably the most severe slums in the world, and yet through dedicated health workers we're able to reach out and in that one clinic have over 1,500 people that are successfully on HIV treatment. So the clinic there with their staff is able to provide counseling and testing for anyone wanting to know their HIV status. If they are HIV positive, then we can immediately put them on treatment. If they are a woman and pregnant, we can monitor her to ensure that her child um, is born HIV negative and stays healthy, and mom stays healthy to raise the child. If mom's partner is also positive, we can put her partner on medicine to keep him healthy. If he's HIV negative, then we can also give him what we call PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis, to prevent him from being infected with the virus. So once someone's viral load is down to undetectable, the individual is healthy, it makes it also far less likely that that individual can transmit the virus to anyone else. And so from a public health point of view, getting people that are HIV positive down to zero effectively will bring about the end of the pandemic. None of this work would be possible without the community health workers. They're the ones who are the ears, the eyes, they're the ones who daily, every day, are walking these dusty, dirty, sometimes filthy, passageways through the slum, identifying people, bringing them to the clinic, or if someone has been to the clinic and maybe for some, whatever reason has not come back, we call that finding the defaulters finding the people for whatever reason that haven't come back to the clinic to get them back on treatment. They are incredible men and women. 
motivated by their faith. Some of them are HIV positive, healthy, and can pass that on to their neighbors in the slum. Others are HIV negative, but realize that gospel call to visit the sick, to support our brothers and sisters, whatever their faith, whatever their religion or lack of religion, to bring them the health they need. Can you 